hello everyone in today's lecture i will talk about the basics of animal breeding what animal breeding is and what are the basic terms used in animal breeding so let's start so what is animal breeding actually animal breeding is the selective crossing of animals to produce offspring with desirable qualities or characteristics in simple words we can say that animal breeders select domestic animals and then cross them to produce offspring or next generation with desirable qualities or desirable characteristics and what these desirable qualities or characteristics are these are any trait of interest it depends on the objective of animal breeders like in case if an animal breeder is interested to improve the beef qualities in uh, in his herd or to improve the beef production the desirable qualities for him would be like birth weight weaning weight of animals their yearling weight and their average daily gain feed efficiency but if the objective of animal breeder is to improve dairy characteristics then there would be some different desirable traits for him so and uh, these would be like the milk or uh, total milk production calving interval lactation milk yield or might be some net percentage milk protein percentage these desirable traits are mainly the economically important traits and what the economically important traits are the traits which have some monetary value the traits which have some economic value these traits are known as economically important traits and animal breeders are always interested in improving these traits and these economically important traits are mostly all the production reproduction re related traits these might be the disease resistant traits or adaptation related traits so let's discuss different terms used in animal breeding the most common terms used in animal breeding are trait and phenotype and most of the students confuse these two different terms what the trait is trait can be defined as a distinguishing phenotypic characteristic typically belonging to an individual in simple words we can say any characteristic for which we can distinguish or differentiate between two individual would be a trait any example for trait we can say the coat color in cattle is a trait what you can differentiate animals on the basis of coat color some animals might have red color some animals may have white color and some has black color so you can clearly differentiate animals on the basis of a characteristic which is coat color so trait is a distinguishing phenotypic characteristic and what the phenotype is phenotype is what you observe or measure on the animal for a certain trait like in previous example of the trait i said coat color is a trait and the phen what the phenotype would be what you observe on animal what you observe was the color either it is red or white or black that would be the phenotype of animal likewise there are certain traits which cannot be observed which are the measurable traits so for those traits what you measure would be the phenotype of animal Uh, for, uh, for example the height is a trait and its phen phenotype would be what you measure for that height would be like 
फोर पॉइंट फाइव दैट वुड बी द फिनो टाइप ऑफ हाइट लाइक वाइज फॉर वेट वट यू मैयर इज वेट इन के जी फोर्टी के जी फोर्टी पॉइंट फाइव के जी दैट इज आल्सो अ फिनो टाइप फॉर वेट हेयर इज एन असाइनमेंट फॉर यू कैन यू डिफाइन फाइव ट्रेड्स ऑफ लाइफ स्टॉक स्पीशीज विद एट लीस्ट टू फिनो टाइप्स यू कैन राइट इट इन कमेंट सेक्शन तो हेयर इज एन अदर टर्म विच इज मोस्टली यूज इन एनिमल ब्रीडिंग सेलेक्शन सो इन एनिमल ब्रीडिंग कॉन्टेक्स वी कैन डिफाइन सेलेक्शन एज द प्रिफ्रेंशियल यूज ऑफ एनिमल्स फॉर ब्रीडिंग वी कैन आल्सो डिफाइन इट as the process that determines which individuals become parents to next generation so we we have a choice we select different animals to define them the parents of next generation selection can be categorized into two different categories the first one is natural selection so natural selection can be defined as the selection that occurs in nature independent to independent of deliberate human control so in this selection there is no role of human it is being controlled by the nature for example i will not go in detail for example it depends on the nature that which animal will survive until the reproduction uh, until it reaches to adult age or reproductive age it is totally in control of in control of nature the other type of selection which is mostly used by the animal breeder is the artificial selection and it can be defined as the selection that is under human control the selection which is performed or practiced by the animal breeders is the artificial selection here is an other term that is gamete gamete the term gamete is used to define sex cells either male or females so you can use it for sperms and eggs the other term which is used in animal breeding is culling culling is simply the removal of undesired animals from the herd when you cull animals you remove them another term is artificial selection artificial selection is defined as a reproductive technology in which semen is collected from the males then used in fresh or frozen form to breed females most commonly used term in animal breeding is breeding value and it is much confusing most of the times breeding value is the actual genetic potential of an animal for a specific trait and in most cases for quantitative traits this actual genetic potential can not be found so what we do we simply estimate it and this estimated genetic potential of an animal for a certain tail is uh, for a certain trait is known as estimated breeding values so breeding value is the actual genetic potential of an an animal for a specific trait or certain trait and estimated breeding value because we cannot know the actual genetic potential of any an animal we estimate it and this estimated potential of animal is known as estimated breeding value the other term is the phenotypic selection the selection which is based solely on individual's own phenotype is known as phenotypic selection the other term is heritability so heritability is the proportion of the total phenotypic variation in a population that is due to genetic variation in among individuals so heritability is always estimated in a population and it tells us about how much of the phenotypic variation 
is due to the genetic variation between the individuals like if we say animal animals have different birth weight and we want to know that why this birth weight is uh, varies why this birth weight varies between animals or among animals so we will partition the phenotypic variation into genetic and environmental component and the part of variation that is caused by the genetic component is known as heritability the other term is genetic correlation it is also a genetic parameter like heritability is a genetic parameter genetic correlation is also a genetic parameter and it is a measure of strength of relationship between breeding values of two traits likewise there is a phenotypic correlation these two terms are different genetic correlation is different which is a measure of strength of relationship between breeding values of two traits while the phenotypic correlation is the measure of strength of relationship between the performance of two traits or between the phenotypes of two traits how closely phenotypically two traits are related and for genetic correlation we say how closely the genetically how closely genetically two traits are related there is another term repeatability which is a measure of strength of relationship between repeated records for a trait in a population the heritability genetic correlation phenotypic correlation and repeatability are the population parameters they are always measured in a population and for repeatability it is it is only measured for those traits which are repeated uh, in the life of any an animal like what these traits might be the traits which are like uh, calving interval is a repeated trait lactation length is a repeated trait so it is only measured for those traits which are repeated in the life of an animal there is a term fertility which is the ability of a female to conceive and in terms of male it is an ability of a male to impregnate uh, another term which is used in animal breeding is a sire and sire is a general term which is used for male parent in any species like in case you can use to define a male parent for cattle buffalo sheep goat chicken you can simply say a male parent as sire and a female parent can be said as a dam uh, here is another term pedigree data which is the information on genotypes or performance of animals ancestors likewise progeny data is the information on the genotypes or performance of animals offspring so when you collect uh, information on the ancestors of animals it would be pedigree data and when you collect uh, information on the offspring of animals it would be the progeny data the other term is collateral relatives these are the relatives that are neither direct ancestors nor direct descendants these are not the parents of animals not the offspring of an individual they are the they might be siblings they might be aunts uncles nieces and nephews sire summary is a list of all the useful information on a sire the term mating can be defined as the process that determines which selected males are bred to which selected females likewise the mating system is the set of rules for mating cross breeding is the mating of animals from two different breeds
लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्रॉस इंडिविजुअल फ्राम फ्रीजियन एंड जर्सी इट वुड बी क्रॉस ब्रीडिंग एंड क्रॉस ब्रेड एनिमल्स आर दोज एनिमल्स विच हैव पेरेंट्स फ्राम टू डिफरेंट ब्रीड्स वैन यू क्रॉस फ्रीजियन एंड जर्सी द ऑफ स्प्रिंग विच विल बी प्रोड्यूस्ड इन दिस क्रॉस वुड बी नोन एज क्रॉस ब्रेड हाईब्रिड विगर आर हिट्रोसिस इज अ टर्म विच कैन बी डिफाइंड एज एन इनक्रीज इन द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ क्रॉस ब्रेड आर हाईब्रिड्स ओवर प्योर ब्रेड्स ड्यू टू हेट्रोजाइगोस्टी सो इन केस ऑफ क्वान्टिटेटिव ट्रेड्स ड्यू ड्यू टू हेट्रोजाइगोस्टी द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ हाईब्रिड्स आर हेट्रोजाइगोट्स इनक्रीजेज एंड दिस इनक्रीज इन परफॉर्मेंस इज नोन एज हाईब्रिड विगर आर हिट्रोसिस लाइक वाइज आ हाईब्रिड इज एन इंडिविजुअल बॉर्न फ्राम अ क्रॉस बिटवीन टू स्पीशीज आर अ क्रॉस बिटवीन टू ब्रीड्स आर अ क्रॉस बिटवीन टू लाइन्स वैन यू क्रॉस टू स्पीशीज द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ स्प्रिंग कैन बी कॉल्ड एज हाईब्रिड वैन यू क्रॉस टू डिफरेंट ब्रीड्स एंड द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ स्प्रिंग कैन बी कॉल्ड एज हाईब्रिड लाइक वाइज वैन यू क्रॉस टू डिफरेंट लाइन्स द ऑफ स्प्रिंग कैन बी कॉल्ड एज हाईब्रिड इन ब्रीडिंग इज अ टर्म दैट इज यूज वैन यू क्रॉस closely related individuals in breeding depression is the decrease in the performance of individuals due to homozygosity in case of heterozygosity there was increase in performance which was known as hybrid vigor or heterosis but due to in breeding we get some uh, decrease in the performance of animals due to homozygosity Out breeding is the breeding of non-related individuals within breed. Uh, what was the cross breeding? The cross breeding was the cross between two different breeds. But in case of out breeding, breeding of non-related individual within a breed is out breeding. So this was all about the introductory lecture on animal breeding. I hope this was an interesting learning opportunity for you. Please subscribe to this channel to more to watch more lectures or videos on animal breeding or animal science. Thank you very much.